they're really here to experience the outdoors, the right. grandeur of Kauai. Right. And, and they're, to some degree, they're trying to get a sense of that host culture. And, mm -hmm. and so the Napali Coast is a world-class destination. A natural disaster and a pandemic force the issue, and now Hawaii yeah. remains at the forefront of regenerative tourism, the reimagining of tourism, and adaptive management. These are the in vogue new buzzwords being used worldwide as destinations begin recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. And it's ranked always one of the top 10 most scenic trails in the world and then top 10 most dangerous trail in the world, although okay. it's you know, per capita pretty yeah. safe because our, our visitors that use it are pretty skilled. Yeah. Yeah. Right. At Haena State Park on Kauai, adaptive management kicked into high gear after the historic 2018 floods, which closed much of the North Shore for a year and a half. The DLNR Division of State Parks accelerated the implementation of the park's master plan and used a total pause in visitation to redesign and rebuild the parking lot, to build upon strong engagement with the community and lineal descendants of the area, and to evolve partnerships with others, like the Hui Makaaina Na O Makana, which is now handling reservations, parking, and a shuttle service to the park. We can be innovative and try to not only reduce the impacts to our, our neighbor rural communities, but also empower them to help us in the management, because we, we know the state can't do it alone. Haena, the gateway to the famous and immensely popular Nepali Coast State Wilderness Park, now is able, through reservation and parking controls, to cap daily visitation to both parks at 900 people, compared to 2,000 or more before the flood. You know, there is no one recipe on how to manage sensitive cultural resources, sensitive natural resources, and a fluctuating you know, visitor industry. A lot of moving parts to work with, and that's the adaption part. We don't know how it's going to work until we launch it, and then we have to tweak it. The visitor industry has certainly fluctuated a lot since early 2020. This provided additional opportunities to tweak, to discover, to rebuild, and to reimagine tourism. A key component was the institution of a pay-to-play paradigm. Here's the beauty, though, of what's now versus, say, 2019. During COVID, we did the fee increase for parking entry, camping, and lodging. So the fees went up to where they're pretty much as high as other state park, uh, park units in the United States. We're right about the norm. But we were really low. So what we can do now is we can generate more money with less patronage because of the, the way the math works, which gives us also greater luxury to partner with somebody so that they can also cover their costs and, and make money, be it either the private sector or a community-based organization. Uh, is a testimony of the relationship we've built over 20 plus years with state parks. We're a trusted partner. And um, it's, it's precedent setting because some of the funds generated through this uh, integrated shuttle parking and entry system will be used to stay here in the park and to create community-based, culturally grounded jobs for our community to take care of this area that's so important to them. So now, Governor, if you could come up here, and I got something for you. The reopening of Hannah State Park in 2019 was heralded as a new day. Wickman says now with the pandemic hopefully waning, it's another new day. It's really regenerative tourism, you know? I mean, this is what we've, you hear that buzzword a lot, but this is where the rubber meets the road. We're actually taking some of that revenue from the visitor industry and putting it right back into our community and benefiting the Aina, benefiting the local people. Dozens of national media organizations are taking notice of the Hawaii-style New Days. Well-known travel writers and broadcasters have visited Kauai in recent months to chronicle regenerative tourism at Haena. We do a series on my public television show called The Travel Detective called Hidden Gems. PBS is planning a segment for its Travel Detective program hosted by tourism journalist Peter Greenberg. Greenberg and his production team visited the park in June 2021. Oh, it's a great idea because the community is involved. You have to educate the community as well because you have people in the community who are just going by the numbers. Oh, we want more visitors. We want more average spend. We want more average stays. That concept no longer works and people need to know that. The problem that we have on a global scale is entitlement. People think they're entitled to it. They're entitled to be responsible. And once they're responsible, 
then they can be entitled to have a great experience. But before that responsibility, at this point we've reached the point of diminishing returns, community management has to come into play. We're all looking at solutions to curbing what has you know, been ca called over-tourism. And so we need the national media guys to, to tell the global visitor industry there's a new normal and the new normal is make your preparations before you come because the, the era of e como mai or just you know come and get it, that's gone now. You got to plan, but the beauty is the visitor will get a better experience, we will generate income and ideally the community around us will be less impacted. Thank you.